All right, so in this video, we're going to geolocate a TIFF. It can be a TIFF, it can be a JPEG, it can be a GIF. We're just going to geolocate an image on a map in ArcGIS Pro. Then we're going to fit that image to the map to make sure that it fits properly. And then we can add another layer, like a graphic layer, if we want to do that. So first thing I want to do is get a picture. <laughs> so I'm going to just open up Firefox. And I'm down in San Diego, so we're going to just try to find a picture of Mission Bay, which is a nice little bay in San Diego. I'll look for a JPEG, but again, it doesn't have to be a JPEG. It could be TIFF, GIF, doesn't really matter. Um, here's one. We'll just grab this thing. And I'm just going to right-click here and save image as. So I'm going to download this image to my computer. And this is just Mission Bay. And you can see here it's a GIF, but that's fine. So I'm just saving this to my desktop. I'll get rid of Firefox. And now let me load up ArcGIS Pro. And we're just going to start a new project, a new project map. And the reason why I want to start a new project map is because I'm just going to use the baseline map that we have with ArcGIS Pro. It's the simplest thing to do. So here we'll just use a map template blank. I'll just say OK, use everything default. And so here it is. Here's our map. It opens up. Here's our blank project. Uh, first thing I want to do, though, is I know that I am at Mission Bay. So I'm going to search for Mission Bay, California. This doesn't look like the right one. Here we go. That's that San Francisco. Let's go to San Diego. So we're going to grab San Diego and move here. So here we are. Here's Mission Bay, San Diego. So now what I'm going to do is just add that map or add that GIF that I just downloaded. I put it on my desktop. So here's the desktop. And we call this Mission Bay 1. So there it is. And so now I'm going to add it. Now it's going to add to the map. There it is. It took a little bit of time, but there's Mission Bay 1. You notice you don't see anything here, and you might get a disclaimer right here that says Unknown Coordinate System. I don't care about that. We'll, we'll fix that later. So what I want to do, though, is highlight Mission Bay 1. It's highlighted by default. Then I'm going to go to Imagery, and we'll geo-reference it. So I'm going to click on Geo-reference. And now I'm going to get a new geo-reference set of tools. And for this image, we'll just fit to display. So here it is. Here is my Mission Bay GIF. And I put it on the map. But you'll notice if I turn this thing off, it's not fitting properly. Like, it's actually sort of close. I'm a little bit lucky here. But it's not fitting properly. In fact, I can see this better if I go to imagery. Um, actually, let's go to appearance and we'll use our transparency tool. And if I lower the transparency of that GIF, you can see that I'm off. So the image doesn't fit perfectly well. And you can really see it by looking at Highway 5. So here's Highway 5 on the map. And then when I transparency that away, you can see that Highway 5 is, is different. So I've got different sizes. It's not quite in the right location, so I need to fix this. What I can do is go back to my GeoReference tab, and I can add control points. So now what I'm going to do is just add control points on the GIF. I'm going to add that same control point on the same location on the map. And then what ArcGIS Pro is going to do is just connect everything together and it's a it's a nice process now the more control points you add the more accurate you're going to get in terms of laying the image on the map we'll we'll experiment i'll probably do maybe four or five we're not going to do a ton so i'm going to click on add control point and you'll notice i've got this little pointer that i can click anywhere I'm going to go right here, right above Cataman Resort Hotel, the right to the east of it. And right here on top of this little concavity here, 
on the beach and I'll click on that. Now, I, I need to find that exact spot on the map. I can't see it <laughs> in this picture. So I'm just gonna go back to appearance and then I'm going to make it completely transparent again. So you'll notice that's the point on the GIF. This is right around the same point on the map. So now I'm gonna click on it. Now we can check our progress. I can go back and make it visible again. And we've got some movement. I'm gonna pick another control point and I'll just choose this one right here. It's on this bridge right at the south tip of this little inlet area. Oops, I didn't want that one, but that's okay. We're gonna use it. Notice the location, it's right here to the right of this little bridge. So we're gonna make it completely invisible again. And this was the spot right there. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. Not bad, we're getting closer. Um, now what I'm gonna do is choose this point right here. So I'm gonna click on that. Once again, I'll make this transparent. Oh, look it, it's like almost on top. So we're gonna click on that same spot. So we're looking pretty good. Let's see how close we are and see how much more I need to do. Uh, there's a little bit more work to do but not a ton. We're actually pretty close here, especially when I take a look at the freeways. So that's just say for sake of argument, I've got it. And again, I'm actually pretty close. The roads look pretty good up here off Grand Avenue. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my geo reference. Um, let me take a look one more time actually, just to be really positive. I'll look at the south end. Nope, I'm, I'm good. So I'm just gonna keep this as it is. Like I said, the more control points you add, the better it's going to be, but we're just doing an example here. So I'm gonna click save. So everything is saved. Now I'm gonna close my georeference, um, or my georeference tool. Let's go back to appearance here and we'll make it fully transparent. So there we go. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So we get a better perspective. So this is it. This is now the GIF of Mission Bay and I've got it residing on top of the map. And it actually looks pretty good, not bad for only a few points. Now, I've aligned this. Um, it's actually off up here. I could have done more, but that's okay. I won't be, <laughs> I'm not going to go back. So what we want to do, let's say we wanted to add another layer to this and we wanted to draw something. So what I can do now is I'm here on the map tab. I'll click the map tab and now I can add graphics layer. And when I click add graphics layer, you'll notice I'll get another layer that pops up in my table of contents. And I can click on that. And now you'll notice that right up here, I've got another tab called graphics. So I'm gonna click on that graphics tab. And now I get a host of tools. So let me click on this little dot here. And when I click on that dot, I can come to my map and I can add that dot to the map. So I'll add it right here, right on the bottom. And I can change the size of that dot. It's a little bit big, so I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And instead of it being 10 point, we'll make it seven point. So now the dot gets smaller. And now let's say I wanna add some text to it. So I'll click on the text tool here and I'll draw out my text and I'll just say, Let's say we're making a map for friends. So we'll just say meetup point. So now all the friends know that we're gonna meet up here. So I've got meetup point. I can take this and put it anywhere I want. I can even come up here and change the text. I can change the font, I can change the size. So let's make this thing 12 point. So here is meetup point, just like that. And we're done. So we're done with this. I can come here and turn it off or turn it on. I can turn off this GIF if I want. And you'll notice meetup point is still there, right where it should be. And that's it. So you can continue to do this. If you wanted to add more points or more information, I could click on that graphics tab again and we still are on the graphics layer. So let's say I wanted to add another dot. I can do that. 
and I can put that dot on the map. So we'll put it here, right here. So now I've got another dot. And again, I can fix it, I can change it, I can add text to it, and all of this becomes part of our new graphics layer. Okay, that's how you do it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, so you can do this with any image you want, as long as you can geo-reference it to a base map or to some other type of map, then you're good to go. All right, that's it. Once again, any questions, please let me know. Um, until next time, bye-bye.